Welcome to the final problem, question number 37 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. In this problem, we have a football player that's uh, kicking a football over a goalpost, or at least attempting to, and we've got the path of the football um, modeled by this function here. And it states that x is the horizontal distance for the kick and h is the height of the football above the ground, both in measured in feet. And it says on the set of axes below, graph the function over the interval from 0 to 150. Now that's going to become handy because what we're going to do is we're going to type this equation into our calculator to help us graph it. And I found that the window settings um, for x, um, well, it would make sense for the x minimum value to be 0, right? Because that's what it says here. And then the x maximum to be probably just a little bit more than 150 just to be on the safe side, so I'd do 160. And then for our y minimum, uh, because that represents the vertical height, we would start at 0. And then for the maximum, you might need to play around with your settings a little bit um, to figure it out, but I, I found that um, a y maximum of 30 um, works pretty well to be able to see everything that's going on. Okay, so let's, let's zoom in here and graph this guy. Okay, um, first of all, we'll start labeling our our uh, lines here go up by tens. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. And then moving up here, um, let's go up by two. So we'll do um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. 20, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 30. And that way we're going to be kind of filling up most of this uh, graph space here. Okay, of course we're starting at 0, 0. And then from there, um, the next import... Uh, well, actually, I noticed that if we go by 15s, it kind of makes it easier to see where the points go. So at, when x is equal to 15, and you can use your um, trace button on your calculator to figure this out, when x is 15 we get a y value of 9. That's going to be right on here. And then let's try when x is 30. We get a y value of 16. So 10, 12, 14, 16. That's right here. And then 15 more would be 45. That gets us a y value of 21. <clears throat> so 45, 21. That's right there. And by the way, like you don't... If you didn't on a test, you it might you may not be able to figure out that it's going up in decent intervals at fifteen, um, but as long as you're like typing any values of x, you should be able to graph it fairly accurately. Anyway, um, when x is sixty, we get a y of twenty four. Uh, that's right here. When x is seventy five, we get twenty five. Right there. When x is a hundred, or no, not hundred. Next would be ninety. Uh, we get a y value of 24, and then when x is 105, it's back down to 21, and then when, when x is 120, we get 16, and then 135, we get a y value of 9, and then finally at 150, the football's back on the ground, we're back at 0. Let's connect these guys together. Okay, now we've got a graph. Oh, and of course, it'd be good to label our um, our axes here. Uh, we've got h of x along the y-axis, and uh, and I guess x, which is uh, the horizontal distance. And these are both in feet. Now, for the next question, um, it says to determine the vertex, and we actually already did. The vertex is this maximum here. Uh, the vertex is, uh, what was it actually, 75? Yeah, 75, 25. And it says to interpret the meaning of this vertex in the context of the problem. Well, of course, the maximum of the football um, means that this is the maximum height of the football. Now, for the final uh, question, it says the goalpost is 10 feet high and 45 yards away from the kick. 
will the ball be high enough to pass over the goalpost? Now, we've got to be super careful. I bet this is a really common mistake for a lot of students is that they see the 45 and think it's right here. But it's 45 yards, and remember that everything here is in terms of uh, feet. So we need to convert, convert 45 yards into feet, and we're going to do that by multiplying by 3 because there are 3 feet in a yard. And 45 times 3 is 135. So 45 yards is equal to 135 feet. Now let's zoom in here and take a look at 135 feet, uh, sorry, 135 feet, the goalpost is 10 feet high. So 135 feet is here, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that means the goalpost is right here. So we can kind of try to visualize that. But we can see that just barely the football is a little too low, right? It would need to be a little bit higher than 10 at that point in order to, uh, to score. So the answer to the last problem is that no, it, um, it's not high enough. And the explanation would be that, well, I mean, <laughs> that it would have to, I guess at 135 feet, you could say that the height is actually 9 feet, not 10 feet. And that would be a good enough explanation. Whew. All right, and that's all for this video. Hope it was helpful, and thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.